Welcome to the testing world. So now we are ready to write our first test case on the robot framework. In this test case, we are going to open Chrome browser. We will enter Facebook URL. Then we are going to enter username and the password and at the end click on a sign in button. So that is my first test case. I am going to execute this on the Chrome browser first. I am just moving to my write editor and that is the test case which I have created in the previous session. So now I am going to start writing test case. Here we have an area of documentation. Before writing the test case, we can enter documentation like what all the things that we are going to perform in this test case. It's just a documentation so that anybody can view that this documentation and he or she will understand why we have created this test case. So I'm going to the documentation. This test case is for testing login functionality of Facebook application. So I just click on OK. Here we can see we are getting the documentation. Uh, I'll not cover the setup teardown tags, timeout and template as of now. I'll show you these options in the later session. As of now, I'm directly moving to the test case writing. Here, as we know, robot framework is completely keyword dependent means for each of the tasks what we want to perform, we need to write a keyword. So first here, I want to start a browser. For opening the browser, we need to write a keyword open browser. I'm going to write first keyword and here if you want to get suggestions, we can use control space. As of now, we are not going to get any suggestion. I'll show you why I'm using control and space, but still we are not getting any suggestion. So why we are not getting suggestion? Because for everything we need a library. As of now, we did not attach our library with this project. As we know, my robot framework working with the Selenium 2 library, but as of now, we, we did not attach that library. To attach that library, we'll have to go to the project level and here we have the option of the library. Click on this and hope you remember while installation we have used the name Selenium 2 library. So that was my library for the for the Selenium. I'm just clicking on OK, Control S to save it. Now I'm coming to the test case and I'm trying to get the suggestion. I just press Control Space and this time we started to get the suggestions. So here my keyword is open browser. If you see on the right hand side here it shows with open browser you need to pass the URL and then browser and few more options. But as of now I just going to pass the URL and the browser. So open browser is the keyword and my URL is so first we need to pass URL and then browser. So my URL is And my browser is Google Chrome. As of now, we have written only one step. I want to execute this. As I'm going to execute this, it's going to fail. I'll show you the failure reason. As we run it, it is failing. And if we check what's the reason of the failure, so here we can check Chrome driver executable need to be set into the path. So here we can understand when my automation is going to communicate with browser. This communication will take place through a intermediate software that we call drivers. So because we are going to communicate with the browser with the Chrome browser. So we need a Chrome driver for downloading this. We can go to the Google. So I'm just, and here I'm typing Chrome driver. I need to download Chrome driver. Here we have different versions of the Chrome driver. You can take latest version. I'm just going to the latest version and it shows like we have the different version. If you have Chrome for 56 to 58, you need this latest version. You just click on this. For Windows, so I just click on this. Once it is downloaded, 
just go and unzip that file that's my unzip file copy this driver and we need to paste this driver into this c python so i just pasted this driver over here now i'm going to my ride editor again and we have placed the driver to that python 27 folder i am just running it and here you can notice my browser is started so url is also entered so here we have executed one test case with one step only and if you can see here on the run window we have a report section as you click on the report we are going to get a basic report like as of now you have only one test case which is passed as of now i have just gone through all the mandatory steps that are required to execute our first test case so in in next sessions i'll i'll go a bit deep into these options so hello friends we are offering our 25 plus video courses with lifetime access in dollar 200 if you are in india you can pay rupees 10000 for 25 courses these courses include soap ui for web service testing rest api testing by using java rest api testing using soap ui and then rest api testing using postman and also rest api testing using python we also have courses for selenium so selenium with python selenium with java selenium with ruby we are also having courses for database testing using sql sql and unix for tester functional testing using qtp which is uft now performance testing using load runner and jmeter and road to big data testing so bdd understanding with cucumber mysql database we also have courses for the scripting so you can go for python scripting for tester ruby scripting for tester also some test management tool like we can use jira alm for purchasing our video courses with lifetime access at the discounted price you can call us 8743913121 you can whatsapp us on the same number as well you can mail us testing word india at the gmail dot welcome to the testing word so in previous session we have started one test case we have started the chrome browser and entered facebook url now we need to enter the username and the password so for entering the username and the password first i open my facebook application here we need to find out element locator of this element so we have multiple elements on this page i want to locate this specific element uniquely to locate any element uniquely we can use element locators we are going to get lot of videos for the element locators in next few sessions as of now i'm just showing how we can fetch element locator so just right click on the element we have the option of the inspect and here we are getting id so if you see we are getting id of this element so id is a element locator which we can use to locate an element we have many more options to locate any element and we are going to cover all these options in the next element locator sessions so as of now i'm using just id so now i'm coming for typing we are going to use input text and on which element you want to enter so i want to enter id is equal to email and what text you want to enter so i want to enter hello username i'm just running it again just check is it working or not and here it open url and then typing something on the username in the same way we can use input text so this time i want to locate the password box I'm just checking the HTML of the password. So right click on the password box. And here we have ID is equal to pass. So I'm using ID is equal to pass and my password. 
and now I want to click on a sign in button so I am using click element keyword and which element you want to click so I want to click on this sign in so I just right click on this inspect and as of now I'm just using ID for locating an element so ID is equal to u underscore zero underscore q so I'm just using ID is equal to this so now a very simple test case is ready to be executed here we are opening the browser and the URL enter username and the password and click on the sign in button just run here it should start the browser and the username and the password and click on the sign in button we have created and executed one test case so here in the session we have covered first test case which we have executed on the chrome browser that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india